Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Pareto chart using R and the ggplot2 uh, library. Uh, I'm running uh, via Anaconda Jupyter Lab with R in there, an R kernel, and specifically R version 3.6.1 with the default packages uh, these uh, being installed. Uh, this should work in any R uh, kernel, so if you're running R Studio, you can just copy the code sections and it should work uh, just the same. Now, a Pareto chart is, um, yeah, it's not, there's not just one definition, there are a few. Um, mine that I usually use is this one. Uh, this is the one I like best. Uh, however, some people will put this on top of the bars here, as in that... Uh, uh, this would then line up with the percentages, uh, but I find that a bit of waste of space. Some will even say that only the bars uh, is sorted is already a Pareto chart. Uh, I'm going to try to make this one. I have a separate video on how you can do this without the GG plot, um, but uh, I thought to not make that one too long and do the GG plot version in um, a video of its own. Um, I need some data for that, so I'm using GSS2012A, which is a slightly adjusted version of the General Social Survey from 2012, which is somewhere freely available. And a frequency table, and oh, let me just show then the results of the marital status. And uh, so apparently there were 972 people married, uh, 314 divorced, etc. Now, uh, with ggplot, uh, before I use it, I need a data frame, so I'm first going to sort my data, decreasing, so that, for example, married becomes the first category, uh, and then store that as a data frame. So now, uh, indeed, the frequencies go from high to low. Next, uh, I also want to see the cumulative frequency, so I can use the uh, cumulative sum function there. And now I should have the cumulative frequencies as well. They start with the first one, and 972 plus 395 is that 1367, plus 314 is 1681, etc. Now, I also want the percentages, so I simply divide those cumulative by the sum of all frequencies, and then multiply it by 100, and that gives me my percentages. So that's these. Now, to do the plot, I can use, or I'm going to use in this case, ggplot2. Uh, if you've never used that before, you might want to run install packages and then load the library. Next, I'll be needing the plot function and the column function. You could also use the bar function, but then you have to set the stat to identity, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but here, I'm just si simply saying, well, I want to use my data frame. Uh, on the uh, horizontal axis X, use my fair one, which is uh, the names of these, and then uh, add, so that's why there's a plus, add that column chart using as the heights the frequencies and just make them blue. You can change, of course, the colors if you will. So this is the bar chart going from high to low. Some people already would consider this a Pareto chart. Um, Next, the ogive, the, that line, uh, for that I can use point using the cumulative percentages and a path connecting those points and because I'm connecting them I need to set a group, I just want them as one group so it connects all the dots and this nicely gives me then those, that ogive with all of those steps. So those two separately are not a big problem, uh, it becomes a little bit tricky if you want both of them in one. Now, luckily, there is a secondary axis function, but that does require, um, actually, that the secondary axis is a function of the uh, primary uh, axis, which is the one on the left-hand side. So, on the left-hand side, I have the frequencies from the bar chart, and the highest one there is, of course, my maximum of the frequencies. And the highest one on the right-hand side should be the 100%, so that's 100 so I can say, well, there's a scaling of 100 divided by that maximum. In this case, that's going to be 0 0.10, or about 0 0.10. So what I'm going to do is exactly as before, the ggplot, I'm going to add the column chart, no, uh, no changes there. However, for the point and the path, so for the ogive, 
I divide the result by that scaling factor that I have over here. Um, I still have the groups one. I also gonna make it slightly smaller. And then I'm going to say, well, I want a secondary axis, which is going to be the left hand uh, axis multiplied by that scaling factor. Uh, also give it a name and we uh, identify that as a continuous uh, scale. Then a nice title on top and uh, some labels. And this should now nicely show us the two combined. And that's how you can create a nice looking Pareto chart using uh, ggplot and R. Okay, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.